Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Modded Banished with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to our currently thriving little village of Lathsburg. Today, we are going to do some serious work, and by that, I mean we're going to mess around and try to figure out some of the new elements of the game, along with start trading. So, you may see a few changes about the village, like some tiny little houses here, a little abbey coming down over here, and a brand new, well, trading thing, which is really difficult to use it turns out, and actually he's way too high tech for our available resource, but we'll get onto that in a second. So first of all, I am building an abbey. Now what an abbey is, I'll just actually pop up the thing so I can quote it and make it much easier on myself. An abbey is... there we are. An abbey houses monks who gather berries and herbs and brew ale. The monks are resourceful and make their products from local ingredients, requiring no assistance or product deliveries. This means we can keep our people very happy later on by adding alcohol to the mix and making small taverns and everything. Hurrah for booze making all, our, all of our problems go away. But let's get on to the trading element. So, I built this thinking it would be a little bit easier than it actually is, but it turns out it's remarkably difficult because it'll only accept silver and gold. Well, silver and gold coins, I should say, along with a pouch. Now, the pouches are actually quite easy, that's just made of a tailor. However, the silver and gold, you need to go all the way over here to, to refined resources, and you need a melting house, which requires bricks which requires a whole other set of things, so yeah, that's going to be a lot later. So not only do we need the precious ores themselves, which we can't really get at the moment due to a lack of um, cliffside things, although we can work towards it in the future using the waterside refineries and such, we really can't do that right now. We just don't have enough people, we don't have the resources, and we don't have enough space to do all that. So instead, we're going to focus on making a regular little um, trading post, because we do really need one. With our starting location being so boxed in, being able to trade with the outside world would be a massive benefit. Ooh, a drawbridge. Can I have a drawbridge over here? Cool! Can I have a really small drawbridge? That's going to be absolutely useless, but I want it anyway. Okay, go ahead, lads. Make that. Builders, please? Any builders? Oh wait, no, you're working on the Abbey, aren't you, I suppose? Yeah, you're both working on the Abbey. So this may take a short while. Our reserve of firewood is low, but that's because they've just taken it all to fill up their coffers, I imagine. Yeah, 22 in your inventory, how much do you- you have 81! Yeah, you're all just being extremely greedy, that's the only problem there. And we have still maxed out our crude tools. Excellent as well. It does seem like they're breaking much faster than the regular tools, so I'll probably swap back honestly, but for now, we'll leave it as it is. I've also cleared the space over here, which means we can make some more farms in the future. But first, we really do need to start making a pasture. Why would I want a fenceless one when a fenced one looks so much better? There we are. Put this, let's say here, so it's all up against this farm. And that will take on the pigs, which of course I assume are only good for food. Unlike the sheep and cows you can get. Which are good for way more things, like wool. Actually, that's what, that's what I really want to try it for. I really want some wool. And some um, hide from cows. Wow, that looks so cool. Well, there we are, the miniature drawbridge. Absolutely useless, considering no boats can go through this tiny little bit here. But that does mean we can always make one later. Still very, very cool looking. Okay, I'm hoping we can actually put down the trading post somewhere here. Let's see, we do have the farm supplier as well. A farm supplier is a small seeds and animals trading post. Kind of want to put that somewhere as well. Oh, that needs to be on the water as well. Hmm, have this uh, as our little tried island, I suppose. Ah, uh, can we put this anywhere though? It's a rather large structure. I'm hoping we can. I've just realised we could have actually put it here the whole time. These angles don't make this easy. They really don't. Oh, oh, we could put. Oh, it's way over here though. That's such a bad place for it. I was hoping this island could be used since we're not really going to use this for anything else. But evidently not. Can I put it on here, maybe? No, yeah, yeah, okay. 
that is so annoyingly close to being allowed. It's... Oh, that's just... Oh, look at those little red dots. That's so annoying! No! Game! Really? Okay, okay, we'll make it way over here. So we either have it here and then cut into these... Uh, no, I suppose we can have it here. Okay, well, we'll use this island for something else then. That's a little bit disappointing, but I guess I really should have tried it. I should have um, tested it out first, so it's really my fault. But still, annoying nonetheless. There you go, have the trading post there instead then, I suppose. Let's just use... I guess we could use this path. Kind of um, latch on to that city. To that city, to that little settlement there. So let's have a look at the other one then. So the other one is for animals, it said. It's the farm supplier. Again, this is a modded item, so I haven't got a clue how it works. Now, I don't think this one will actually need the main trading route, which is good, because this is getting a real pain in the butt, it seems, to actually place anywhere. Oh, really? It just doesn't go anywhere like that? Seems like it should go here. It's, it's, it's about the right shape. Really, one red dot then, that's, that, that, that's fantastic, that's just great, I just, I'm filled with joy right there. You see, I don't know if it does need the trading route, because I haven't tested it yet. Okay, we'll just leave it for now, and there we go, we have the pasture, so we can put the pigs in there. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a herdsman, there we are. Oh, excellent, some of our... Students have became, have became adults and, and can thus work educatedly and stuff. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got the Abbey to finish off and the Triding Post. Oh, the Abbey's about to finish. There we go. So I guess that's the Ale then. Luxury is the Ale. Huh, that's really cool. Prod oh, so we can have it making blueberries, herbs, or Ale. That's really cool. Why do I not have more of these? These things sound awesome. Okay, well, that's a monk then, I suppose. So, up that to one, which will... Nope, no, no. Up this to one, which will increase it there. Can we put more people in here? Seems like we can. Although we have no more libraries, so it doesn't matter. Um, I would like you to make ale, honestly. Make me some booze. Let's see how long it takes you. Uh, let's see, where are you? For some reason, I was expecting you to have different outfit on. <laughs> you know, you're a monk, you should look more humble than the others, but no. Oh, we're out of clothes. Mmm, that's something I forgot. Okay, then. Ah, that's something we need to sort out instantly. That will be in the... Uh, not, no, not town services. Not refined. Actually, what would it be? And I can't remember what this would be under. And our reserve of stone is low. What a shock and surprise that is. So these are the... So that's not going to be... That's storage. Would it be a civic building? A tailor? I don't think so. There we are. It's just under a new area now. It's been moved. It's under the fibres and fabrics. Or fabrics and fibres, in fact. So that's nice and simple. And this can use hide, which we're currently getting... Sorry, leather, which we're currently getting from our, from our hunters, to make basic clothing. Gathering food. I wonder if we made any ale. I doubt this made any ale just yet. We've got bone meal. I wonder where we're getting bone meal from. Oh, I'm assuming the hunter. I would assume the hunter. So we can have ten pigs, and then as soon as the eleventh pig is born, the oldest will be slaughtered, and yeah, lovely. Well, more food types equals more um, health. I mean, our health is good. Our happiness is almost maximum, but our health is fantastic. We are actually completely out of stone. I didn't notice we were completely... Well, I guess this bridge did serve the... Ooh, we could try and put a quarry down here. That would be good. Keeps it away from the main village. Would certainly look a lot better. Ores and materials, small quarry. Yes, there we go. Right there as well. Fantastic. In fact, there's loads of places we can put this. I, I think I actually like it here. It just looks more... Like, it's part of everything. Yeah, sure. That'll do. And then I'll put down a couple of tiny shacks. There and there. And then the road can wind around the corner of it. Like so. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I can't put it in the rock until it's been harvested. Yay! More labourers. Fantastic. Have we got any ale yet? And where would ale go? Into the stockpile or into the storage barn? I would assume storage barn, but... 
Oh, of course I can watch here, can't I? Because it has an amount of luxuries, and that's a luxury food. Hmm. It said you don't need any deliveries. You do everything yourself. So I assume it gets the berries and makes the aisle out of berries? That's odd. Well, you can say you make alcohol out of berries, so it doesn't make too little sense. Actually, it makes complete sense, but... Pulling ale. Butcher stools. That turns one food into other foods, which are generally worth more. Raw food gathering. We haven't actually made any apiaries yet, have we? Let's make some apiaries. I really do like the the um, idea of a of beekeepers. Where do I put the beekeeper? Well, we have this huge space here, don't we? And this is all farmland, so... Sure. Let's have it like this and have a little space in the middle, because that'll look better. Way less efficient, but it'll look better. Have this as a little dirt section. Because that will look nice and stuff. I wonder how the trader's doing. Anywhere near completion? Actually, yes. Just stone. Just stone. And actually what we could do is gather stone from this area, since that's actually impeding the rate of growth of the stone... of the, of the trees. Stones don't grow, kids. Well... They can, I suppose, but not in the same biological sense of which I actually meant. Well then, I did not know that, but in this game and in this mod, um, pigs do actually provide leather. Um, if you kill a pig, it will be deposited as leather, so that actually means farming pigs is probably better than using the hunting posts, and a much more controlled way, and of course, it frees up a lot more of the woodland to be cut down on a more regular basis. Have we got any ale yet? None whatsoever. That's curious. Hmm, perhaps it does need some support with uh, with the berries being harvested or something. I'm not too sure, but anyway. Oh, maybe it's because there's a gatherer nearby stealing all the berries. Perhaps the abbey should be on its own somewhere else. That could be the case as well. But anyway, we have our trader, the regular lovely stuff. And we can actually sell a lot of the new items, which is awesome. Because it also means that the new items will be sold by the traders, but not all of them. It seems like the far more complex items simply don't turn up here. That's when you need the later levels of traders, which we accidentally skipped to. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a trader. Where are you, you bugger? There we are. One trader, please. Thank you. And I would like to store in here. What do we actually have spare? We're running out of tools. Really, really badly. Why? Why have we run out of tools? Because we've run out of wood. But I just ordered, like, loads of trees to be cut down. What are the, what are the laborers doing? We simply don't have enough laborers currently. Okay. Also, I'm going to move on to iron tools as well. The crude tools break. I re ridiculously quick level and we are about to start having people running out of tools this happens every time I play this game it's like the big thing I keep messing up oh and we do have our apiary as well fantastic so let's have one beekeeper okay so hopefully they'll start cutting down some trees soon and uh, making it all into firewood right now isn't good so let's just stop the chopper for a second so he'll become well she'll act as a laborer as she doesn't have a job it also is the re it, it's also kind of the fault that I have decided to build so much stuff at once. We have the trader coming down, we have the quarry, we have a couple of tiny shacks. There was a lot of stuff being built, all using a wood, and then I didn't think to myself, oh, perhaps we should make the forester then. This shouldn't take too long to get fixed, hopefully. Our first trader has arrived, even though we currently still are suffering from the tool crisis, that does not mean we can't be civilised and trade for some more uh, luxurious items. So pipe tobacco, I don't quite know what this is actually used for, I'm hoping that it's a simple thing, and I think you can actually use them in taverns, although I can check that right now to see if I'm wrong, there's a very very good chance we're wrong. Luxuries and production. Uh, aha! Smoking products such as pipe tobacco. There we go. Yes, it's the storage location. So it turns out that's where the that's where the pipe tobacco is used, and it increases happiness because it is a luxury item. So we can start selling our pearls. So that'll give us 90. So we can get quite a few of those then. 
Wow, well, did I go up by 10? I thought we went up by 1. Never mind. There we go, 15. Uh, do you want to sell an Invat Tomatoes? We could, I mean, we have loads of them. Uh, no, we'll leave that. Uh, do we? Do we, though? Do oh, fine. Fine, let's get more tobacco. Because why not, eh? I don't know why I put in 25 things, because that's 100 of those, so 600, so we can buy 100. There we are, plus then we have the 9, of course then we have the 9 pearls as well, herp de derp, there we are. Excellent trade, happy days, we have tobacco, you are dismissed. So it does seem like though, the things we see here are simply things we actually have, or have had so far. S because um, as soon as we, s we got some beeswax from our glorious apiary, we instantly had the option to sell beeswax. Which means, yeah, it's not just everything. Ooh, we now have honey as well, fantastic. So, as we get more complex things, perhaps we can just use the regular trading post, as opposed to the more weird trading post that's a lot more effort and weirdness. Although it does sell some really complex stuff, which would be nice if we could just sell gold. Finally, the tool crisis is over. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put some people now into the stone cutting business, which will start to use the quarry over here. Sadly, the quarry is the most dangerous job in the game, and we are, we are likely to lose some people over time to, well, accidents. But overall, that should be okay. It looks like we've got a lot less food than we do at the moment, because we are currently restocking the trading post with tomatoes. Well, we've just finished stocking them with tomatoes and what happens is if it's in the stockpile here it doesn't count as being in the overall stockpile although I do think we still need some more food there we are four beekeepers in our little area over here we're not really producing all that much honey we are producing a lot of beeswax though so perhaps beeswax once again can be something we can sell although it has kind of dawned on me though these um, tidal pools are actually of quite a bit of value if they constantly produce pearls along with their food in fact, how many pearls do we have? I mean, um, since we sold everything about two minutes ago in real time, we've already got back a single pearl, which is worth quite a bit. And since it's actually producing a decent amount of food in addition to this, maybe we could add some more tidal pools. One question I do have is, though, is there any point in actually increasing this? So would two people be able to actually use this without um, oversaturating it? since it has only a natural use of one. Ah, I've also just realised something else. The Abbey has nowhere to store the Isle, does it? Because the Isle gets stored in the tavern. I don't think that's a big deal, but um, I do want to make the tavern anyway, now we have the some of the tobacco. So let's make this basic tavern. I'd say put it over here, yeah. Put it in the docks. Next to the blacksmith in the less of the residential area, which is kind of becoming this section over here. We've just turned on the chopper again, and we've maxed out tools. Fantastic. We still have no clothes, though. After all that, we still haven't made ourselves any clothes. Taylor, please, clothes. Wow. Reeds and feathers. Full coat, full dress, with linen. And then we have a pouch, which is used for the trade. So once we have all, perhaps a more reliable way to get ore, because currently we have no way of getting ore, we can perhaps start thinking about making money and then actually buying some of the more exotic stuff from here. Although the big problem is, I don't know if this will even function, because we haven't built it on the Trade River. I just kind of put it there to see what it was like, honestly, and just kept it. We have no firewood, that's fine, everyone seems to have some in their houses already including the more further away houses. We now have two... We now have two pearls, fantastic. Okay, let's wait until the taverns came up. Aha! The Forester's Lodge is almost finished! There we go, so now we can start that... Ooh, that's had a... That's had a makeover! I didn't realise that's been changed. That's rather cool. A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, where the hell is F? There it is, Foresters! Okay, let's have four. Since, well, maximum apparently it's three. Because this area is currently devoid of trees, so it's all going to have to be replanted. We could make a bridge over there. No, let's let them keep the area they're currently using. 
A new trader selling us coffee. Well, I actually have no idea at all what coffee is used for, so we're simply going to buy three lots of it. No, not no, not 60, just three, please. Why is that going up in 20s? There we are, fantastic. So now we have some coffee in our coffers. Hmm, I wonder what... Does this need to be over there? I don't. I just don't know how it works. I really don't. Wine, pipe tobacco for silver, rope. Oh, there we go. The small tavern, however, is about to be finished. As soon as that's finished, we'll be calling this a day. We're about to increase the happiness of our people, which currently is actually at maximum. And I want to keep it like that as our population slowly increases. Actually, we have a very small child population, which means we are actually running out of space. Oh, so that was a salt box house. Cheaper than a stone house, but it is warmer than a wood house. Huh, that's neat. We have the country houses, which need glass. We have no glass currently. We have town abodes, which are very, very small. Four people. Uh, doesn't say how efficient it is, however. Large residences. That's real. That's very pretty. Then we have the the ooh hello office, officer townhouse. That's kind of cool. Cause you could stack these next to each other, make like a long row of them. Again, oh no, we don't need glass for that, but we do need some some resource I'm actually not familiar with. I think that's planks, which I believe you need the sawmill for, but I will check into that in the future. We have town lodging, which is uh, the boarding house. Boarding houses are for people who are homeless. They will live there, but, j but will not breed. Log cab in a single family. We have... Um... I think we should just continue on this style of housing. It just kind of fits this little farm area, honestly. Plus, I just like how they look. I like little cabins. They're neat. We're currently basically like in the very early stages of the game still, though, really. We have the very most basic materials. So, that's another thing. Over here, I was a little bit w uh, worried since, well, the forester is using this area to grow trees, but as we plant new th as we um, place new buildings, we put down roads and stuff, it'll limit the use over here, until eventually it basically just won't be able to build anything since, well, you can't build things on roads and, and on, on houses. I guess you could grow a tree on top of a house, I mean, that doesn't make no sense, it just isn't very practical. Okay, it goes to the left a little bit, excellent, which, which which then allows for some more space down here. Yeah, I wanted it to go down and curve, but it doesn't really curve, does it? It looks more like it just juts out. Okay, let's not do that. You two can be removed for now, and remove roads, just remove these. And I'll consider how to do that later. Do we have our... Yes, we do! What do we actually need to run this place? What did that... An ale wench! Of course it's an ale wench! So there we are. It's now a tobacco house, however, since we have no ale. Hello, are you a monk by any chance? No, you're going to be the um, trader. Darn it. Oh, the coffee goes in there as well. Okay. So the taverns basically use up a lot of the consume ale. So it was that then. It was a simple matter of the abbey didn't have anywhere to store its product. Okay, that's fantastic. So that should make a lot of happiness then. We now have a tavern running, up and running. We do need a church then and other stuff like that just to ensure maximum happiness. So the reason why happiness is so important is like health, it governs how efficient your people are. Even the most educated of citizens will do really poorly if they are ill and unhappy, but if they're uneducated but really happy and really healthy they'll tend to outdo the unhealthy educated people so if you have educated and healthy people well as you can see we're doing quite efficiently on quite bad play because I've done quite a few things wrong so far including well making them almost freeze to death in the winter but they're just doing so well because of the early education I really love these apiaries how well is the honey coming along though decently, not fantastically. Again, is there any point in adding more people to these things? I don't think there really is. It does seem to kind of... Oh, no, 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 they're both working. Never mind, they are both working at the same time. That was the big kind of um, thing. If you can see two people, then probably is worth having two, maybe more people. Hmm, I'm not too sure about that. 
but I do want as many pearls as possible though, since they are great for selling as we can't use them for anything else just right now. Anyway though, I'm afraid we are out of time. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, and if you have, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Banished Modded Edition is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.